How's it going, YouTube? DM Tombstone Belts back here again with a brand new video. I know it's been a little while since I posted, but obviously, guys, wanted to do something to spare time because, you know, me and my uh, relationship with work. Luckily, I have some time off right now. <laughs> and I thought maybe I should do more processing of, like, my restone work. Like, most of you probably know, or some of you don't know, like, how do you do your restoning? Like, how do you replace your, st like, those stock stones that WWE Shop Belts have? with quality like crystals like Swarovski crystals or cubic zirconias well for me I get uh, Swarovski crystals I order them online on either uh, mostly eBay where you can probably get the variations first off you got before you start any restone process I'm pretty sure you hear this many times from previous people that did uh, restoning uh, hold on <clears throat> his first no your belts basically feel free to take the chance like if you're not like you feel comfortable doing what you're doing first with the restone work of your belts because if you don't feel comfortable doing it I say don't do it because chances are you can mess up your belt and there's no coming back from that I mean there could be some way of coming back if you're skilled about it but usually if you don't feel comfortable doing it just don't do it anyway Next thing, <coughs> sorry guys, no, like, find the information of how, of the size of the stones of your belt. Basically, just start searching around on the internet. Surely, some people have restone their restone belts, probably don't tell you everything about their restone work because it's their own personal stuff. And, that, and basically, if you learned out what they use, Chances are, when you start doing it, it makes them lose their business. So, obviously, they're not going to come out online and tell you the stones themselves. I only remember seeing one video on YouTube about someone restoring a WWE Championship belt. And I only heard certain size of stones. Now that video, I don't see up on YouTube anymore. So, now i got to remember every belt, I mean, every size of, that, of stone that the WWE belt has. No, and I'm probably not going to restone every single belt. I mean, every single stone on that belt. There you guys, like I said, I'm going to gradually try to restone as many stones on my WWE Spinner as it is. As of right now, I'm starting to restone the outer square stones on my on the center plate. And I'm hoping soon maybe to get the triangle stones for the eagle piece and, of course, the side plates as well. And eventually I may end up having everything restone except the maybe I think one or two millimeter size stones that are for the WWE logo itself and the word champ. But in the meantime, maybe I should also show you my process of how I restone belts. So I got my plate right here. I've already uh, replaced all the stones except maybe the one up these ones up top. Also, know the amount of stones you need as well. Like, I counted, looks like maybe about 80 stones just for these themselves. And I bought a pack of clear 4mm square crystals. And I think I have enough just to do the whole band. And maybe even replace that top, these two tops. Like, literally, I can show you right now. Uh, the difference between... Try to get out of the light. Between the stock stone, which is that one right there, and the Swarovski crystals that are right underneath it. Obviously, it's hard to tell from the, this lighting, so uh, I'm going to... Sorry, guys, I wasn't prepared for this. I'm going to take a flashlight and try to clearly see... Like how you see that is just how some... Of the stones just sparkle and that one stone see there's a bit of rainbow off that one crystal right there but all you see off the stock stone it'll just be white <clears throat> and that's not what the belt stones are on TV so you're probably wondering well how do I do it well <clears throat> Some of the stones are flat backs. The stock stones on most belts are flat backs. So for the stones I get, I 
obviously are pointed back, so many times you have to drill. <clears throat> so you got to take your drill and maybe a small drill bit or a, the small drill bit you have that's small enough to fit in there. And then you just <clears throat> drill down. <clears throat> some stones you may have to drill all the way down. And some you just drill enough so the stone fits inside. And make sure to clean out the holes too because you don't want none of that uh, sh like uh, I don't know bit of flux or I don't know what they call it but any debris of metal left in the hole because it could make the sto stone not placed incorrectly then I'd say you get yourself some gem tack glue and I'm going to try to do this one handed guys and just not too much, just a little bit in each hole. Enough could go a long way. And note if you do drill a hole deep in, I mean, if you do drill a hole through the plate, I just say make sure you at least put enough glue that it'll at least hold. Oh, sorry guys, my finger was covering. Trying to do this without, I don't have a stand, guys, so. So, make sure you at least glue around the perimeter of the hole you drilled, or at least put enough glue in there so it doesn't fall out. Because I don't think these, this type of glue can hold these stones as well. I mean, if you're, unless you're just putting the belt on display, then all means it's good. Okay, I got my stones out, and I'm going to take a pair of tweezers because it's quite delicate work. Then I'm going to try to, oops, make sure you, and carefully place the stone into the hole and lightly tap it down to make it level. Some, and obviously, yeah, it's a square stone in a round hole, so you may have to fiddle around with it a little bit. Okay, that, okay, that looks good enough. Sorry about that, guys. Now... There we go. Oh, not showing you the process. Silly me. All right. Another stone. I got to get a stand, guys. I know. I'm sorry. And I can say, when it comes to restoning work, these small stones usually are the really toughest one to do because you got to have steady hands. And I can say when I do this, my I'm going to admit my hands are a little bit shaky when I do this. All right. Now, jump. You see? Now with the stones in. <coughs> oh. Oops. Looks like it. <coughs> Looks like I got enough stones left to actually restone this whole perimeter. So obviously I'm gonna remove that stock stone and uh, replace it with the Swarovski crystal. Oops. I'm gonna grab And there we go, guys. Mm. Now, obviously, you let your uh, belt, you let the stones, you, you give their stones time to dry. I mean, at least, you know, the glue to dry so the stones stay in place. And next, you know, you put the belt back together, and there you go. You get a, a perfectly good, shiny, sparkly belt. Anyway, guys, that is it for me today. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a comment below what you guys think. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And as well, follow me on social media on DM <coughs> on Twitter at DM Tombstone96. And of course, Instagram at DM96. I'm DM Tombstone Belts. See you guys next time.